good YouTube, this is Flawless from Flawless Rage 2 bringing you another video. Uh, recently I brought this, Forza Motorsport 4, paid six quid for it, right? I bought it off a um, Facebook selling page. Um, I've recently got an Xbox back, which you'll find out in a later video. And um, it said Essentials Edition. I thought I'd love to have Forza 4 back, so I bought it. Unfortunately, when I got it home, there was a manual, but I took it out and put it in the other one. You'll see that in a minute. It says bundle copy on the disc, Forza Motorsport 4. Take the disc out. Nothing else. Well, what's your problem? You're probably thinking. There should be a disc 2 for install packs. It wasn't in there. And the person won't refund either. Which is a bit of a bitch, really, considering, um, you know, you pay the money for the game and they don't even offer a fucking refund or anything. Um, but yeah, not good. So, I look for another copy. And I've bought this one. Forza Motorsport 4. This one is the Racing Game of the Year edition, which I'm very, very happy with. Um, advertisers, 21 added cars there. Got all the Top Gear test tracking on it. It's, of course, by turn 10 and Microsoft Studios and everything else like that and this one because that's the manual I got with the other one and this one's got disc 1 and disc 2 so I wasn't stiffed on it there plus you know it's got all like different things printed on the back plus even the cases back let me show you it's different at the back your pictures of cars there okay you've got jack fuck on this one just a few uh, car names at the top that you can just about see there. My fingers are in the way, so apologies for that. But yeah, and also apologies for the glare from the camera as well. So yeah, I bought that. But you see, an interesting thing happened when I went to get that. Personally, I brought it off. Um, very nice um, people. Um, I, they said um, they're only selling their games because their son's Xbox broke two days before Christmas which was, you know, if that was me I'd be seriously, seriously pissed however, I said to them have you still got the console? they said yes I said would you mind if I had it for spares? they said sure, no problem, take it away thinking that wouldn't work I brought it home here's the power, here's the power brick for it. it says Xbox 360 on it as you can just about see there and of course it's the e-console, e which is the one I've got. And there's the proprietary new connector there. Don't know why they stripped it down like it, but it doesn't seem to affect it in any way. So props to them. And here it is. That's right, it works. This free Xbox I got works. I've been using it for the past, what, week or so now, must be. And it works perfectly. Nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Here it is, the actual console, the Xbox 360e. It's got the um, physical touch buttons on it, so you actually have to push. The eject button has now been moved to here, and the tray comes out. You can't quite see that, so apologies, but it doesn't matter. That's the free one. Here's the one I bought. That's right, I've got two Xbox 360s. Get wrecked. <laughs> right, yeah, here's the Xbox 360. New Xbox logo on it, pretty nice design. Come over to this side, and if I can get some better light on this, which I don't know if I can, there you go. You've got physical touch button there, physical touch button there. It's got the uh, Xbox logo there. Turn it on its back so we can see the back of it. Just a sec. And here, there's two USBs here you can just about see let's move it this way a bit more and you've got your connect there your ethernet there and you can't quite see this so I'll lift it up and see if I can get it there it is, see that there? that is your new proprietary connector use like a um, 3.5mm headphone jack and that outputs your audio, video and everything and there is your HDMI and there's the, like I mentioned a minute ago, the two USBs um, there's two USBs still at the front under this flap here and yeah very good 
I wasn't planning to put the Xboxes in this video, but I thought, well, why not? Because I'm doing it anyway, so. Yeah, that is my um, other Xbox. Pretty cool. And I'm, loaded, I'm uploading this straight to YouTube as well, by the way, so it will be up on day of recording. And yeah, so the motto is here, basically. Okay, yes, you can get some good free stuff, but also, please be careful when you purchase games secondhand, even off a friend or something. Make sure everything's there because you might get ripped off like I did with this. Don't get me wrong, the disc works perfectly. There's nothing wrong with the disc, what's in there. But your DLC, some of it won't work. I mean, I had this game beforehand when I had a Slim. And thought everything was okay. Until, um, you know, until I sold everything, I thought I'll just get it back. Now look. I've got that and don't know what to do with it. But your DLC, if you brought it when, like I did, it won't work unless you've got disc two. Some of it won't be there. For instance, the Porsche expansion pack. I downloaded it again, didn't work. Put this one in, did disc two, works perfectly. I've got all my cars now. So there's a lesson to be learned there. Be careful when you're buying games, folks, okay? I wouldn't want to see any of you amazing viewers ripped off. So that just about wraps it up for now um, for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, tell me what you think of the Xbox 360E. Do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? Um, you know, and please don't ask if you can fucking have it because the answer is no, I'm keeping them. Okay. So uh, yeah, um, take care guys. New video coming up very soon. And peace.